My name is George Carusos. I am the founder of the Culinary School in Foriver. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the truth American holiday. Everybody, we get it together, families, friends, and we like to have good time. Today I'd like to show you a very easy recipe. So to be excellent for your dinner, because I know everybody will love mashed potatoes with gravy. And I'd like to tell you a few secrets for the mashed potatoes. Sometimes we make a big mistake and we like to follow the recipe. In my opinion, you don't have to follow the recipe because sometimes the potatoes, they come in from different areas of the, of the, of the country and observe more milk or less milk. So if you count it in your recipe and you measure everything, sometimes you make a mashed potatoes where it's watery, and sometimes you make a mashed potatoes and they are very stiff. So the only way you can do it is very simple. Try to guess and slowly add your milk and your butter. And this way you, you end it to have beautiful mashed potatoes. The next thing what I'd like to tell you about, about mashed potatoes is please cut the potatoes. Sometimes if we cut the potatoes is in the center is brown. Remove the brown and make the mashed potatoes to taste good, to look good. Little bit effort and time create beautiful dish. And you remember, what is good chef and what is good cook? The person to know to select good, excellent ingredients. So to make it the perfect mashed potato, you need potatoes. You can peel it, or if you like to leave the skin on, it's fine. Little bit of salt and pepper, butter it, and milk. So let's go, we start it. I peel my potatoes because I like Thanksgiving to make a traditional recipe. I like to have everything clean, to be everything white and everything is perfect. So I peel my potatoes and I cut it small pieces and I boil it with a little bit of water where I add a little bit salt and I bring it to boil. I have my potatoes, so I like to taste it, and I see if they are soft. You can see it's very soft, so it's time to strain my potato, the water out. Now, again, a lot of people, they make the mistake after they, after they strain the water. Rather wait, they add the butter and the cream, or the milk. Well. In my opinion, you have to leave the potatoes in the pan, bring it over the fire until the water evaporates. You have to understand the potatoes, they observe water. If you leave the water and you add the milk and you add the cream, now your potatoes have to come in very soft. So take the spoon, cut, bring it very soft. And you can see, you can hear the pen. Actually, sometimes the pen is talking to you. So your ears, you have to listen the noise where the pen make. You can hear it. So this means right now I can remove it. And I cut small pieces of butter. And I mix it up very fine. And I can mash my potatoes.
That's it. Now you can see I have perfect mixture. I like to add a little more butter. I know you have to say, Chef, is too much butter, but after all, it's Thanksgiving. So let's go, everybody will be happy. I put it in the top of the stove, and I add a little bit of milk. If you like cream, it's fine, it's no problem. Make it warm, mix it up all together, and that's it. You have beautiful mashed potatoes. You put it in the side of your dish, or Thanksgiving, you can use big ball. Add the, the potato seam and leave everybody to share. Well, this is the mashed potatoes and happy Thanksgiving.